Welcome everybody to TechCraft, this is Rob, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn any website into an app on your Mac. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you two options. The first option is using an app called Fluid. Uh, with Fluid, you can create an app from a website for free, but you can't make that uh, app full screen. If you pay them $5, you can make it full screen. The second option I'll show you is using an app called Coherence X. Coherence is like, I think it's like $25 if you buy it on its own, but it does come included in setup, which I'll talk a little bit about. And with Coherence, you can make the, the app full screen and stuff. So let's dive straight in. So I'm here on the Fluid website and you can just download it from here, but I'm gonna install this using Homebrew. If you haven't used Homebrew before, please do check out my video on that that's linked above. So I can just do brew install Fluid. Okay, and with Fluid installed, let's just start it up. And this is the window you get when Fluid pops up. It just asks you for the URL of the website you want, uh, the name of the, of the app that's gonna be created, where you wanna put this, and what icon you want to use. So I just wanna create an app for Netflix, which is https slash slash www.netflix.com. I'm gonna call it Netflix. I don't wanna put it on the desktop. I actually wanna put it in my applications folder where all my other applications are. So I'm just gonna to browse to that. Just choose applications from the side here, fantastic. And I'm just gonna leave it using the favicon from the website. You can actually obviously specify your own icon if you want, but the, the website favicon will be fine. Then click create. Fantastic, and I can now launch this and I'll get my Netflix app. And there we go. I'm gonna just show you that I've got this working. And if I try to make it full screen, it won't work as I mentioned, and you can just pay the $5 via PayPal. But it's quite nice. And if I shut that down, um, Quit to Netflix, and if I just try to use uh, Spotlight, there is Netflix as an app, and, and it launches. It's really, really elegant. Let's now see what this would be like if we use Coherence X, and what it looks like if you make a full screen app. So I've installed Coherence using an app called Setup, and so Setup's kind of like a subscription service for other apps. It's ten dollars a month, and you get there's at least fifty apps on there. I'm using maybe I don't know fifteen, twenty of them on a regular basis, and some of them like Coherence are like twenty five dollars if you get them. Uh, you know, one by one, but the, the subscription is great. I actually have a free account that's supplied by work, but I bought my own personal account as well. It's not sponsored by Setup. I don't even know the team at all, but it's a great, great thing. You should get it. Right, so here I am in my Setup and I've got Coherence installed. I'm just gonna click Open, um, bring me to my Coherence window. And what's nice is there's already a set of kind of like default apps you can install just to kind of get familiar with how this works. Uh, definitely don't install the Amazon one unless you wanna waste all your money. Um, Create an application and similar kind of thing to Fluid. We're going to do Netflix and we're going to do Disney Plus this time, actually. Disney Plus, what's the website address? It is https www.disneyplus.com. It's going to go into applications by default. And you can see actually this just kind of pulled in the icon from the website. Click next. You can choose which browser engine you want to use. It does support Chrome and Brave, I think maybe even Firefox, but definitely. Chrome and Brave. I'm just gonna use the Chrome that I've got installed on my, on my machine. Click next. Because Chrome is quite a complex beast, you can choose which person you want. This is quite nice if you wanna kind of create an app for your online banking. You can have a profile with your online banking passwords kind of linked to your Chrome and everything, and then it will create a, an app just around that identity. I just wanna use an anonymous identity for this, so that's fine. Create application and give it a few seconds and away we go. Right, there it is. My Disney app is running and I can press launch it now. And ignore the fact that I need to update my Chrome. I've got a working Disney Plus app. And if I press the full screen, now we get full screen Disney Plus. Okay, just a really quick video today. I'm gonna to do a few more of these kind of quick tips and tricks videos. Try to publish one maybe every week or every two weeks. Hope you find it useful. If so, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.